took me a ride to Cradley Across the bridge and up to the waves Feeling sentimental as I passed the match Cowboy films and happy days But then I started getting lost And I don't know where I was Lots of these diversion signs Redirecting all the cars Cradley is where I'm at This ain't the place I knew Excavators and loader trucks Everywhere I go Banging and crashing going on Buildings coming down I can hardly recognise anywhere What's happening to our town? Somebody's nicked Fox Oak Street There's a great big main road there Fox Oak Garage on the corner I can't see that nowhere Then gone and took the Liberal Club and the Sally Harvey somewhere Oh no, not the Royal Mary McArthur's boat there Cradley is where am ya This ain't the place I knew Excavators and loader trucks Everywhere I go Banging and crashing going on Buildings coming down I can hardly recognise anywhere What's happening to our town? I have been a councillor now for almost 12 years and since getting on council I made it my main priority to get the bypass, Cradley Heath bypass sorted out. Either we were going to go for it and get the bypass or it was going to be forgotten as it had been some 43 years since it was first talked about. This scheme has finally come about because of a contribution from three main players, if you like. The local council, Sandwell Metropolitan Borough Council, have made a contribution. Tesco's, who are part of their development, have also made a significant contribution towards the cost. And government itself has uh, contributed about £7 million to the overall cost of this scheme. So there are certainly um, huge amounts of money involved. But therefore, that's why I hope when we see the, the bypass finally completed, um, that it will be used and it will relieve a lot of the congestion that has taken place in the centre of the town. Departments that were involved in setting this up were planning, engineering and highways, corporate property, our legal department, and from those was set up a multidisciplinary steering group. Well, it's taken a long time, as people will know, for this, this uh, funding to come through for the bypass. And a large part of the money, of course, not all of it, but a large part has come from the government. And I was uh, certainly lobbying hard uh, ministers to get the money um, to ensure that we could complete the bypass. When we finally got it, I called the minister concerned my $7 million man because I was so delighted knowing that we'd got this extra money and it did enable a, a, what was, after all, a pipe dream for many, something that they've wanted to see and never thought perhaps in the end would actually happen. Construction of a bypass has been awarded to Burr Civils Limited and that sort of contract was awarded for 2.9 million. The overall scheme and regeneration of Cradley Heath itself is costing the Sunwell in the region of 11 million pounds. My name is Steve Heverland. I'm the site agent for Burr Civil Engineers. Um, we've been appointed to construct the bypass on behalf of Sandwell Metropolitan Borough Council. Um, our project is going to be running all the way through to spring um, 2007. Um, we've um, been on site now since the 14th of November. And we've actually come into um, situations where we've had to move traffic around to accommodate the construction phases. And after we've actually set up the camp, we um, start the process of 
detailed programming of the construction phases. Um, in those phases, we've broken the project down into numerous sections. And uh, how we've tackled that is to try and minimize the effect on local traffic as best we can. And local businesses, the less um, effect as, uh, as we can, um, as best we can. Um, we've broken the road down into the lower high street area. We've got another section up at the, directly behind me, which is the Fox Oak Street and then Upper High Street, which is on the top end of the project where we tie in. As the bike pass comes down to St Anne's Road, there was a, five properties had to be demolished there as well. Some of the properties were taken, were demolished by hand and taken to the Black Country Museum and to be re-erected up there. Also, as the bike pass goes down to Lower High Street, he had the old Workers' Institute building and that building was taken down by the Black Country Museum and also re-erected again. What we've done now is we've removed all the material off-site, most of the excavation offline works. As you can see behind us, there's an existing road and there's a new alignment. Um, and now the new alignment, we've taken the material off to specialist tips and we've built the bulk of um, the offline road at, as we, at this time of the project. Uh, we've started building up the layer works, what we call layer works, to build this construction or the stability of the road that started. All the drains have gone in, so a fair bit of the job has already been tackled um, and we're out of the uh, unforeseen ground conditions. Unfortunately, during the excavation, no artefacts were found at all. Um, however, we did come across a large number of cellars. Uh, as you can imagine, all the old Victorian buildings and earlier buildings as well had cellars. The, behind me, this location here at St Dan's Road, there was an old brewery and that had very deep cellars. And unfortunately, we didn't find any bottles or anything left over from the old brewery. And um, no time capsules either have been found along the site. I've lived here 40, 47 years. This, that church has been delegated for the last at least, at least 15 years. And it's a shame to see it knocked down. But clearly it has changed that much. There's no, no, no buildings. Some, some buildings I do recognise and some build, buildings I don't. This process is going to run through to, um, we're talking September, October and then we're starting to put tar down and starting to form and move traffic further around the, um, the site. And at the other end of the town, you've got the Liberal Club building, which is now opened together with the Salvation Army. And so we have got some new buildings and uh, local folk um, who are drivers are saying that they like the improvements, they like the new roads and all we have to do now is to be patient for a few more months while all the bits and pieces are completed and it is in full use. And we're talking about the road surfacing uh, gangs, that's a specialist contracting firm that we'll be bringing in. We've got um, specialist curb layers to come in and they'll be handling the putting in the curbs. Um, then we've got traffic signs, traffic signals, street lighting um, and then eventually road marking, landscaping. So there's a numerous phases throughout the project. We have to accommodate um, and assess as we're going through the project to make sure we finish on time and the quality is to the, to the, to the client's requirements. What I think of the redevelopment of Cragleith, it's very good, very good for the, uh, the local community. Um, there's a lot of congestion problems and uh, it looks a lot better organised. Yes, have been waiting for it a long time. Yeah, everything under one roof, clothes particularly. So. In a high street like Cradley Heath, you've got a variety of shops. 
That that's for for me is one of the attractions. Mm. It's a huge variety of shops. Some of them that are quite distinct that you won't find in the Merry Hills of, mm. of this world. And so yes, people will still use the high street, the marketplace um, for their general shopping. But there are also small specialist shops that will only exist in towns like Cradley Heath. It's important we preserve them. They're distinctive, they're peculiar to this area, and it's very important that they remain. And I hope that the bypass will make it a much more attractive place to shop. I got me first suit from Burton's. First dig came from Dunn's Model Shop. First Elvis record from Harris's. And from Harold, a chip haircut. Cheese salad sandwich from Firkins. And a custard tart each day. Now where's the Workers' Institute? They could take that away. Cradley Heath, where am ya? Beside the place I knew. Excavators and loader trucks. Everywhere I go Banging and crashing Going on Buildings coming down I can hardly recognise anywhere What's happening to our town Cradley Heath, where am ya? This ain't the place I knew Excavators and loader trucks Everywhere I go Banging and crashing Going on Buildings coming down I can hardly recognise anywhere What's happening to our town? I'm fed up to the teeth Cos I can't find Cradley Heath 